Hi, Mr. G here with another session of Wrap Sessions, Recycled Art Projects. Today, we are going to do what's called the skewed view. And we're going to take an existing picture and change it. So, I have some images that I picked right here. One of a gentleman sitting over a sink. And it just made me say, hmm, what is that guy doing? Why is he doing it? And for what purpose? I also found another image that was really appealing to me and really quite colorful and of portraits of what looks like to be some indigenous people. Um, but I love the color and the vibrance of this piece too. And the third piece that I picked in gloss was just a design piece with some nice tonalities and some flat colors. Um, also, I picked a piece of one of my favorite artists, Miss Aretha Franklin. Um, and this one is in a matte. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the difference between gloss or something with a high sheen that you might see in a magazine and a matte finish or something that's duller that you might print off your printer or you might see in a newspaper or um, a publication like that. Okay, these are the only materials that you're going to need is your image and paint, markers, colored pencils. I'm gonna use some chalk. And so we're gonna get started. And I decided that I would start off with the matte image because I haven't figured out what gloss image I wanna quite use yet. But I am gonna start off with the matte image and I have some chalk here. So you might have chalk rock lying around um, your house. You might have pastels. Both of those would be deemed appropriate. But I'm going to start my defacing or changing of my image by using the pastel. Now, you'll see that I'm using some techniques to mute out the color. So it's not so stark. You can do this throughout your piece. Now, I'm adding places where I want that accent to be that yellowish color. And then I'm blending it into my piece. Now, this can be done with paper towel if you don't want to get anything on your fingers, although I suggest using your fingers. Your fingers have some natural oils that help enhance a piece and that will soak into the paper. It works a little harder on gloss and we probably wouldn't use chalk on gloss, but I'll show you what we can use on gloss to make a picture pop. And again, whatever colors you have available, Feel free to use. Remember that you're allowed to move your paper around. It doesn't have to stay in the same spot. And you'll notice how my, the oils in my fingers are starting to blend. The pastels are the chalk. Let's add some other color to it. We're gonna add a little bit of white for highlights. And I'm applying this color arbitrarily around. Um, you can have a sequence, or if you have a way that you think that you want it to look, you can apply it. A lot of stuff with this type of art is trial and error. So you're going to play around, you're gonna have some fun. You're gonna get what I would call muddy. And I think that muddy's really cool. You know, it's fun just to delve into something. It doesn't always have to be this glowing masterpiece, and sometimes if you develop the skills of using certain materials, this is what this can be used for. So have fun, I can't stress that enough. And I'm 
just gonna add one more color and give it a little bit more color coming through there and maybe a little color to her face. And then I might embellish with a colored pencil a little bit too. Well, uh, that's how far I've gotten so far. I might add some more touches to it. I might leave it like it is. Now, I think that I want to explore working on a gloss piece with you guys. So, again, I'm gonna give you the choices that I have to choose from. The Gentleman in the Sink. The Vibrant Color Portraits of Indigenous People. and just the design shape. And I think that I'm going to work with the gentleman. So for this one, I'm going to use markers. You're talking about gloss, and I want you guys to take, if you have any white space, or if you have an extra sheet of gloss paper, just play around with how the marker feels and how it looks on that. And look at how that has a sheen to it where when we worked with a matte finish, it comes out really flatter. The colors are vibrant, but they come out flatter and they're not popping as much as the other one. All right, I'm gonna start to add some things to this just to have some fun with it. And I might decide that I want to use another color, so I'm going to. Again, there is no right or wrong. See how the materials that you're using are working on the surface that you're drawing on. Experiment. The only way that you become a better artist is to go out and experiment. So don't be afraid. It's actually quite fun. And I also want to talk to you guys about using maybe some techniques. I've added some line work here on this. And let's say that you wanted to do some line work. Let's say that you like this. You can look at weight of line. Here's a thick line. Here's a thinner line. Here's a line that's broken. You can also look at things which is called pointillism, which is a series of dots to represent shading. And then you can also look at maybe some design aspects, adding a swirl. Whatever you might want to add to that, you're more than welcome. I'm going to do a little bit more embellishing. And again, don't rush yourself. Um, enjoy the process of working with different materials and changing an image to fit your thought pattern. And things don't always have to look like they did in the original picture. This does not look very much like the original picture anymore, and that's okay. And you don't have to disuse materials that you draw with with your hands. If you wanted to use paint, you could use a sponge. There's lots of different materials that you could use. So please experiment, have fun, and thank you for your time today. I hope that you enjoyed changing the view of an existing picture by using different mediums. Explore, have fun, and thanks again.